Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve a circle with an X going through it on your wireless icon on Windows 10. So hopefully this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial for you guys. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the Start menu just by left clicking on the Start button one time. And you want to type in Device Manager. Best manager should come back with Device Manager right above Control Panel. You want to left click on that one time. Now in our device manager, you want to expand the network adapter section, either double clicking on it or left clicking on the little arrow next to it. Now for the network adapter listed under here, you want to right click on it, left click on enable device. So if it's currently disabled, there will be an option here to enable the device. So once you've enabled it, hopefully the red X is gone now down in the bottom system tray icon. So if that did not resolve the issue, I would recommend restarting your computer, try and reopen your web browser, see if you're able to access the website you were having issues with beforehand. And if that still didn't work, I'd recommend opening up the start menu, type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt right above desktop app. You want to right click on it, left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window, you want to left click on yes. Now in this elevated command line window, you want to type in IP config space forward slash flush DNS. So exactly how it appears on my screen, IP config space forward slash flush DNS. Then you want to hit enter. Should say successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in NETSH space WinSock space reset. Hit enter. Should say successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. I recommend you guys restart your computer at this point, close out of any open programs or applications, and hopefully your issue has been resolved once you restart your computer at that point. So I do hope this tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.